Hey friends! In this video, I wanted to share with you a quick demonstration of these super beautiful Molotow liquid chrome markers. Now, in full disclosure, I actually filmed the footage for this video a really long time ago, but for some reason it never got posted. But I thought that I would still share it with you because these are really pretty and really fun to use for your monoline hand lettering. Now, you may have seen these on Instagram, but they are really shiny. And when I saw them used, I ordered this pack so that I could see if they are really as shiny as they look in all of those Instagram videos that I saw. So in the first example, I'm just using black cardstock. As you can see, the silver kind of almost appears to soak in. This isn't necessarily what I'd seen on Instagram, so I thought about it and realized that a lot of what I'd seen people use these on were harder type of surfaces, like maybe like a green leaf or something where it wouldn't really soak into the paper. So first I'm just showing the different sizes on that black cardstock, but I do wanna show you another type of surface where you get a really glossy look. So if you watch closely throughout the video, you can see me tap the pen into the paper a bit to get the ink flowing. That's because this marker has the type of tip that you push in to get the ink to flow freely. It's a good idea to do this on a different piece of paper for your art, but I didn't worry too much about this since I was just testing these out. I'm also showing you an example of this on another paper surface. This is just an envelope that again, it starts out super glossy and does soak in a bit, but it is still super bright and super beautiful. So to get it to show the shininess of these pens, I decided to show you on this piece of acrylic. This is nothing fancy. It's actually just one of the little dividers that goes inside of my pen holders. But this one has removable dividers and to fit my pens in there, I have to take one of them out. So I thought that I would just reuse one of those pieces for this. So these are a great example of just how shiny that these pens are. And while they still look great on paper, I think this really shows their true potential. You may also wanna try these on another hard or plastic type of surface to see that really beautiful shine. I really did like writing with these for a monoline style of lettering. There are just certain pens sometimes that feel really comfortable when I'm lettering with, and this was one of them. But like I said, you do have to kind of push in to get the ink flowing and that can be kind of a pain for some people because it can be hard to get a consistent flow of ink. When I was testing these, I didn't find it to be super difficult, but just something to be aware of if you don't like that kind of a pen. If you have been wanting to learn how to hand letter, I wanted to let you know that I did create a free seven day e-course that you can sign up for using the link in the description box below. It is a series of seven different lessons that you can do on your own time. You will receive some practice sheets for beginners to help you get your thick and thin strokes down. And you will receive some videos and some lessons that will help you kind of guide you through the beginning of learning how to hand letter as well as some homework assignments and challenges that will help you to continue practicing. So if you are interested in joining that free e-course, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to go ahead and sign up. And I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below. You can also follow me over on Instagram at howtohandletter. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.